guys, welcome. Today I'm recording from a slightly different location just because we came out to um, a beach resort, Cliffhaven Beach Resort, just for a change and um, I just thought I had a video to do so I thought I'd do it here. But I'm not going to shoot the whole video here because it's a bit noisy as you can tell because we are on the beach front here. Have a look. How lovely is that, huh? It's so nice and tranquil here. I love it here. And the reason that I really like it here is because when you come here, there's hardly everyone, end of, um, I can't speak. There's hardly ever anybody on this beach. So it means that when the children are playing, I don't need to be too worried about them. And it's clean, which is really important to me. And it's really nice here. So, but anyway, today I just want to have a little bit of a rant about some building work that we've been doing. Just kind of put you guys up to speed. I know a few of you have asked me what we've been doing recently. So I'm just going to bring you up to speed basically. So just bear with me while I switch locations. Hi guys, sorry about that. I'm back now. Um, whew, I'm so hot, sorry. I took a little bit of a run and now I'm hot. I don't know why I ran, I just did. Now I'm hot. Anyway, yeah, so I wanted to have a little bit of a rant. Um, what's been happening with our building update? Basically, we started our project Sovereign Homes. That, um, that land is still there. We have been unsure as to what exactly it is that we're going to do with it so what we decided was to leave it for a little bit we're thinking about perhaps um, dividing the plots up and selling them off individually um, with a view to actually building for people like yourselves that may perhaps want some lands so that you know you can buy genuine lands because the lands we have is genuine um, that's one option we're not sure yet but we're still toying with the idea but um, I think the last time I did a video I think I told you that we we're building a house in OEB right next to where we are selling the big plot of land that we have now we started building that we kind of did the structure for the first and the second floor there are no internals we've roofed it there are no no we haven't roofed it we haven't roofed it just ignore me the sun is getting to my brain we haven't roofed it we've basically done the structure of the building it's there but there is so much to go into the building and the the, the house actually ended up being a lot bigger than what we had expected i think we just got a bit happy when we dug on the ground and when you raise the building you realize actually how big the building is and it is big um so we have to wait a little bit before we're ready to do that so in the meantime while we were waiting we actually decided to start another project so what we did was took a bit of my parents land in East Legom and um, there was actually a boys quarter so what we did was we kind of built upon that structure with a view to um, having two apartments and we were going to rent out the two apartments but things have changed a lot since we decided to do that and the rental market in Ghana now is not what it used to be so where before we had plans that perhaps because the downstairs apartment is a two bedroom and the upstairs one was going to be a three bedroom and we thought for the the, the three bedroom we would probably be able to rent it out for about at two thousand dollars or so a month times have changed they changed quite a lot quite quickly in Ghana so since that time um, it'd be quite difficult to get achieve that rent and on top of paying taxes as well it just we feel like it's not really in our interest to do that anymore so we decided to put that plan on hold so the plan is to move into our downstairs apartments which we have almost completed I will show you that at some point so it's just that downstairs is just a two bedroom um, that we can obviously just use for ourselves for now and probably eventually we will move upstairs to three bedroom until we're ready to finish off our OEB project but like I say that is quite a big project so it's gonna take a bit of time and it needs a lot of capital so we're not ready to, to complete on that yet so that's gonna those projects are basically on hold for now if that's what I'm trying to say um, but we're gonna move down into the two bedroom like I say we've almost completed I'm sorry if I repeat myself never mind but anyway the downstairs we're gonna move into there for now and probably at some point turn the downstairs into some sort of business we'll see but anyway we have plans for that that's what's happening with us but what I really want to do was I wanted to have a little bit of a rant about and kind of inform you a little bit as well about what actually goes on in Ghana now we had a bit of a situation where we're trying to get the internals to this um, downstairs apartment done and what happens is when you pay a tradesperson like in the UK you know if you want like a front door or something like that made for you you tell the person what you want you may have to pay like a deposit just to secure the job and then they go 
um, purchase the materials and do all whatever they have to do build the door whatever construct it whatever it is they need to do with the door and then they bring it to you and you pay in Ghana it's different you have to give the money to the, to the person before they can start anything so you have to go and give the money to go and purchase those materials and for me that's really odd my husband's a lot better at me he's a lot more trusting than that well he's not really more trusting than that. he's more discerning I would say because you have to give the person the money so say if you're buying a front door and the front door for example is 500 cities you would have to give that person perhaps 300 cities someone that you might not really know for them to go and purchase the woods in order to start this job for you and then hope that they will come back and finish the door and so you get your door otherwise you've lost 300 cities do you understand what I'm trying to say it's like the weirdest thing I guess I understand it because that person may not have um, the money to purchase the wood to do the door for you but it's really it's um, it's a strange system and it's very difficult to it's very it's very difficult sometimes because you've got to put a lot of trust in people and um, sometimes I think I find that a bit hard when it comes to trades people so anyway what I'm trying to say is we purchased a door we got a carpenter and we asked him to do this door and um, he had the door uh, he went to, and he said he was making it he was making it and I, we kept phoning where's this door where's this door and he wasn't answering so naturally my heart was like boom, boom, boom. I was getting so upset because I'm like we need a front door so that we can continue moving because we have to shut this thing off we can't just allow people to be you know walking in and in and out of our, our place because obviously we're doing the internals now and so this door wasn't coming and I was getting so upset my husband was like don't worry he'll come he'll come eventually I mean it, I mean it was cool the guy was cool he was like oh we have to wait for the wood to dry you know these are things you don't really think about it's like you have to wait for the wood to dry otherwise if you don't let the wood dry it bends and so that's the reason why but I was like but why didn't you answer your phone when we're calling you so at least let us know what is happening with this door you know and you know after after it happened I mean he came he brought the door and the good door trust me the door is like I mean you I don't know how much you'd pay for that in the UK but it, I, we probably couldn't afford it in the UK but it's a really lovely door and definitely it was worth the wait but it was just the pressure that we got in between of is this guy coming back with our door or what is happening and I, afterwards I just sat down and I pondered and I was like well actually it's really difficult to deal with trace people here because you have to give them money up front technically you're supposed to give them I mean you shouldn't give anybody more than 50% of what the job is worth because otherwise they may not have motivation to come back and finish your job but I was just like boy this stuff is risky man if you don't have a good heart yeah you could easily just like this is too much for your heart you know because pressure you know it's your money it's your hard earned money and you're giving it to someone in, in the hopes that they're going to do what you've asked them to do and to come back and finish your job and so it can be difficult so uh, what I'm saying basically is just a little bit of a rant um, just because I was getting fed up and frustrated because I just want this project to end I'm hoping that within the next two weeks we can have that completed like I say it's only a really too small two bedroom small thing but it's some space and we need it and we just need some space we just um, need to keep moving with our lives basically so it's been tough but it's a really nice place it's coming on really nice at the moment they're working on the kitchen so um, they're at the, at, um, assembling the units in the kitchen they've done the tiles they're doing the bathroom tiles and stuff like that so there's I will definitely show you guys the internals of that house but obviously not today because I'm not near the house at the moment but anyway that's what I just came on to do just have a little rant and just give you a little bit of information hopefully you got a little bit of information out of all that I've just said but anyhow that's enough for me I'm sweating guys I'm sweating but it's so nice near the beach guys come to Ghana come to Ghana let's go to the beach let's let's just chill let's do something but anyway until next time guys I'm out peace